everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my updated Retin-A skincare routine. So I'm downstairs in my bathroom and I'm just going to get right into it. I'm using Meyer's hand soap. So I always wash my hands before I wash my face. I feel like, you know, even if you don't feel like you have anything on your hands or if they're, you know, dirty or not, you always just want to wash your hands to ensure that they are clean. Now, I also want to point out that this skincare routine is after I've been on Retin-A for almost a couple of months. Um, and so my skin has definitely become more acclimated to it and um, I can do things that are maybe a little bit more aggressive than things that I would do when I first started my routine. So per the recommendations from everyone, I have switched over to the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, I used to use two different Cetaphil facial cleansers in my double cleanse, and now I actually have consolidated it down to one cleanser, and it is this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, I'm going to start off my first cleanse by just <clears throat> using two pumps of the facial cleanser and rubbing it on my face with my hands. So without rinsing the cleansing residue off my hands, I'm going to go ahead and use my Foreo Luna Mini 2 Silicone Cleansing Facial Brush. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I keep my flaking away while I'm on Retin-A, and really this is my answer. So this is a silicone cleansing facial brush, and I'm going to again use my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I really like it because it has a vibrating setting, and also silicone is naturally antimicrobial. I'm sorry you guys if you can hear the, this singing in the background it is my daughter Olivia so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to consider this my double cleanse again even though I didn't technically rinse off the cleansing residue from what I would consider my first cleanse um, so I'm going to go ahead and rub that all around my face and I'm pointing out I have this um pimple that is pretty swollen and um, just tender and so I'm going to avoid that right now when I'm cleansing with the facial brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face with warm water and I'll do this a few different times just to make sure that I can get all of the cleansing residue off of my face. So now I'm going to go ahead and dry my face off. I always use um, like a padding kind of press motion anywhere that I currently have acne. So you'll notice me being extra gentle around where I have that pimple near the bottom. And then, you know, kind of gently rubbing around the rest of my face to get the water off. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Tretinoin 0.025%. Again, I am using the cream variation. You can see this tube has been well-loved. Again, I've been on it for about seven weeks now. So the amount that I just put on my finger is definitely more than most people put on. I would say it's about one and a half 
um, maybe even depending upon who you are, two times the um, amount that people put on their face. I am prepping kind of for um, an appointment that I have with my dermatologist at the end of April and I would like to move up to the 0.05%. So at this point, I have absolutely no flaking around my mouth, my eye area, my nose, which were previously my problematic areas. As you can see, I can put it directly under my eyes. I can also put it directly on my eyelids and I can put it right next to my nose and around my mouth as well. So this was definitely not the case when I was first starting out on tretinoin. So I just wanna make sure that everyone again is aware that at this point I've been on tretinoin for seven weeks and that I have absolutely no irritation whatsoever on my face from the tretinoin. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos, you do know that I have had irritation on my neck. Um, I used to put tretinoin on my neck every night, then I had to switch down to just once a week, and then I had to give my neck a break completely for several days. Now what I do is I use my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. I spread that all over my face and then I do carryover residue of the Retin-A onto my neck a couple times a week. I'm doing this in hopes that I can build up my next tolerance um, to also receive the Retin-A. I just, you know, am really gung-ho about trying to anti-age my neck right along with my face. One of my pet peeves is when people have, you know, beautiful skin on their face and then they've got a neck that looks, you know, 15 years older. So I just want to make sure that I am steering clear of that type of a situation. So as you can see, again, just rubbing the moisturizer all over my face, including under my eyes, on my eyelids, around my mouth, even on top of that swollen pimple um, that is near my mouth chin area there. And um, again, rubbing it down onto my neck. My daughter is downstairs watching me film this video, so I'm just kind of chatting it up with her a little bit. Um, but basically, guys, this is it. This is my updated uh, Retin-A skincare routine at night. Hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to um, leave a message to me in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel giving you just a close-up look of my skin. As you can see, I've got a couple of more zits that are going to come out as part of my Retin-A purging process, but that's it. Thanks for watching.